Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I hope you're having a, a good day, a good night. Uh, did you have a good weekend? How was your weekend? Hmm? How was your weekend? Did you do something exciting or fun? No, no hicieron nada? Anything? Did you go to the shopping? Did you have a good Valentine's Day? No, teacher. Nothing special. Nothing special. Did you go shopping? Did you cook for Valentine's? Did you spend time with, uh, with another person? Yeah? No? No hicieron nada for Valentine's? Se quedaron viendo Netflix videos? <laughs> for Valentine's, you were just, were you watching Netflix? Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. Before we get started, I want to ask you in chat, I want to put a question there in the chat. Uh, where are you in the platform? Okay, please tell me what section are you in in the platform? Uh, put there, put the number of the section that you're in. Please answer, answer the question, put it on the chat. Very good. Okay, Alejandra, 5.5, very good. Daniel, Daniel, está atrasado, Daniel. Solo nos quedan tres días, Daniel, para terminar la plataforma. Three days only, Daniel. Estás atrasado. Are you going to finish, Daniel? Hmm? Daniel, are you going to finish? Uh, I'm working uh, Monday, soon, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Wednesday. Okay. And Wednesday. Monday ya terminó. Este día ya terminó, Daniel. So you only have Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, you don't you don't have too much time, Daniel. Please, me, me preocupa un poquito. Vas a terminar? Sí, en mi meta. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Pero estás atrasado. Please, you have to catch up. Eh, mañana me escribes, Daniel, para decirme dónde estás, okay? De acuerdo. All right, very good. Uh, everybody else is in section five. David, vas un poquito atrasado. Okay, you need to catch up. Uh, you need to finish section four. Today we are doing section five, okay? All right, guys. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and go to the guide today. All right. I need two people to read this conversation. Ya vieron este video algunos, right? La mayoría ya lo vio. I need two people. So I have Chuck and Melissa. Chuck is the hairstylist and Melissa is the... The woman in the in the in the shop in the beauty shop. Okay, so who wants to be Chuck? Who's gonna be Chuck for this conversation? I need a, a guy, a man. <laughs> yes, so I need a man. Who's who wants to be Chuck? To solo van a leer. You're just going to read the conversation here. Who wants to be Chuck? Huh? All right, I'm gonna ch choose one person. Okay, uh, David, David, you're going to be Chuck. Yes, okay. Sure. All right, uh, very good. And uh, let's see, Aurora, you're going to be Melissa. You're going to be Melissa. Okay, Chuck, you're going to start, go. Where were you born, Aurora? 
Ok, before, antes que la, antes que la cambien, léenla una sola vez así, como está, y, y, y después la cambiamos, porque después van a empezar a cambiar las cosas, pero está bien, pero leámosla una, una sola vez así, como está. Ok, one more time, go David. Where, where, where were you born, Aurora? No, ah oh, bueno, está bien, you can change the name. Pero puedes leer solo la información que está ahí, Aurora. No tenés que proveer información tuya ahorita. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I can hear in 1999. Mm -hmm. um, you were pretty young. Yes, I was. Only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was not very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Very good, very good, Aurora, excellent. All right, now, eh, no, no, voy, no quiero que la cambien todavía, right? Esa actividad de cambiar y obtener esa información le vamos a hacer de último, ¿ok? Para una, una, una actividad de speaking que tengo planeada. Ok, let's, let's focus on the conversation, right? I want to focus on the conversation and the grammar. We have here the verb where. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. So you weren't born in the US. No, I came here in 1999. Mm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is, is pretty good too. Okay. So, aquí hay una, un, un eh, pasado y un, y un presente, right? De aquí para acá, para... Let me see. De acá para abajo is past, right? Past in the conversation, right? Y aquí, present. Okay. Entonces, ¿ustedes notan cómo cambia el, ver, el verb to be? ¿Sí? ¿Notaron? Right? Aquí, como estoy hablando en el presente, es is, right? Y aquí, como estoy hablando en el pasado, was or were. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre is, it was, and were? Simplemente que is en el presente, was, and were es en el pasado. Right? Ok. Questions? Preguntas? Right? Questions? Pregunten si tienen preguntas sobre la gramática. Please, uh, ask, please. Okay, so I have an example here. Read the statements with the verb to be in the past. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. I wasn't born. In the US, you weren't very old. She wasn't in college. You weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the US in 1998. Okay? Now, todo esto viene de la conversación, right? Look at the conversation one more time, okay? I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Where was Melissa born? Where was she born?
Come on, denme la información. La están viendo ahí. Come on. Please. He was born in Korea. He was born in Korea. Okay. Uh, was she born in the USA? No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Very good, David. Excellent. Okay. When she came to the United States, was she old? Was she old? Estaba vieja? Was she old when she came to the United States? She was pretty young. She was pretty young, okay. How old was she when she arrived in the United States? How old was she? She was 17 years. She was 17 years old. Old. Years old. Okay, perdón. Uh, she was 17 years old. Very good. Very good. Did she go to college right away? Toda la información está ahí en el artículo. Esto es lectura y comprensión. Come on. Ahí está la información. Did she go to college right away? No, she wasn't. Look at my question. Did she go to college right away? Did, te estoy preguntando con did. Did she go to college right away? No, she ain't no, she wasn't. English. Si yo no, te pregunto did. con did, tú preguntas y tú respondes ah, con okay. did. Yes, she no. did. Yes, she no, did. did. Yes, she did. No, look, no, look, didn't. listen to my question. No, did she go to college right away? No, she, no, did. she doesn't. No, no podemos usar doesn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. Uh -huh. Very good. Esa es la sección 4. O sea, vean otra vez la sección 4 porque es el uso de didn't. All right, very good. So, cuando uso was y cuando uso were. Okay? This is the rules. Okay, remember. Was and were is the same. Es el pasado del verb to be is. Okay. And are, perdón. It's the past. Okay. When I use I, I the subject I, I use was. For example, I was born in Santa Ana. Cuando usas you, hablando a otra persona, siempre va a usar were. Okay. Uh, for example, le preguntan a una persona, ¿dónde nació? Where were you born? Okay. Cuando uso he or she, siempre uso was. Okay. He was born in San Miguel. She was born in Guatemala. Okay. Plural, they, we, and you, los cuales son los sujetos plurales. Um, uso siempre were. They were born. Imagínense dos hermanos, right? They were born in Guatemala. Estoy hablando de mis hermanos, yo y mis hermanos. We were born in Chalatenango. Or puede ser you, plural, hablándole de un grupo de personas. You were born in China. Okay? All right, so preguntas, ¿cuándo uso was a were? Depende del sujeto, ¿verdad? Questions? When I use it, um, it was. It is was, it was, right? Que tal vez sería para una mascota, right? O algo. Right? For example, um, when I was little, I had a bicycle. Right? Estoy hablando de mi pasado. I, it, perdón. It was a BMX. ¿Se acuerdan esa, esa, esas bicicletas BMX? Remember? When I was little, I had a bicycle. It was a BMX. Okay? O puedo tal vez hablar del color. It was blue. Okay? 
Very good. So yes, cuando usas it, usas was. No lo puse ahí porque se me olvidó como estábamos hablando de personas. All right, very good. Questions? El uso de was y were? Questions? Depende del sujeto, ¿verdad? Was, normalmente singular, were, plural. Así como is, el verb to be is, es singular. Are, el verb to be are, es plural. ¿Ok? De hecho, si lo ponemos así, side by side, is... Eh, voy a poner was, es lo mismo que decir es, solamente que past, present, pasado, presente. ¿Ok? Were, es lo mismo que decir, are. what? Are. are. Very good. Uh -huh. Are. Uh -huh. Past and present. ¿Ok? Very good. So, ahora vamos a ver tres diferentes usos eh, de was and were. Positivo, negativo, preguntas. Okay, so let's look at that. All right, first we're going to look at positive. Right, so I can use it in a positive sentence, right? Uh, for example, I can say, I can use subject, was, and then uh, a compliment or some kind of extra information, right? So, pongámoslo así. I was working yesterday. Esto es lo que estaba haciendo yo ayer. I was working yesterday. Okay, example. Puedo hablar de lo que yo estaba haciendo antes, right? I was born in Santa Ana. Okay. También no hay problema si yo le cambio aquí he or she, right? También sería was. She was born in Santa Ana. He was born in Santa Ana. Okay. No problem. Now, they is plural, right? They were upset. Estaban molestos o enojados. They were upset. Speaking about people, right? So this is positive. Positive, okay? Now, let's talk about negatives. Usemos los negativos, right? So what is the same? I'm going to use subject plus was or were, and then I have to put a negative. Aquí tengo que incluir esta. Negative. I was not born in China. They were not upset. She was not at work today. Negative, right? Pueden contraer aquí? Sí, también, ¿verdad? Podría contraer? Sí, no hay problema. You can do it, right? Wasn't. You can use a contraction, right? Very good. Okay, next questions. ¿Cómo hago preguntas con was and were? Okay. Simplemente lo pongo al, al inicio. Eh, was or were plus the subject plus the complement. Sometimes you can put a time expression. Okay. Let's look, for example. Were you at work today? Estabas en el trabajo? Were you at work today? Were you born in China? Was she upset? Podría poner un time expression también, right? Was she upset this morning? Estaba enojada en la mañana ella? Was she born? Was, was she upset this morning? Puedo ponerle una expresión de tiempo. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando del pasado, ¿verdad? All right. Questions? Questions? Positive? Negative? And questions. Right? Ustedes tienen que manejar eso. Es igualmente como el verb to be, ¿verdad? Tienen que hacer positive, negative, and questions. Casi todo lo que aprendamos Todo eh, estructura de gramática tienen que poder hacer ustedes lo, esas tres cosas. Positive, negative, and questions. Si uso, por ejemplo, did, or had, or have, or should, siempre tienen esas estructuras. Positive, negative, and questions. Cualquier verbo auxiliar o cual verb to be, presente en el pasado, lo que sea. Okay? All right, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and practice here, okay? 
Now, I'm going to give you a chance to do this in group, right? So, tengo una primera práctica. Son 10 preguntas. Was, were, or negative. Algunas son positive, otras son negative, okay? And then, vamos a hacer estos dos ejercicios, right? Grammar practice. Then I have the second exercise here, right? Now, here, um, noten que hay una negative, un símbolo de negative, significa que esta pregunta tiene que ir en negative. Okay? All right, so fíjense aquí. Si no tiene nada, es porque es positivo. Okay? All right, so let's do the practice, right? Let's work in groups. I want you to practice. Usted pueden ayudarse. Let's complete it, right? Discuss it, talk about it, and ask questions, right? Okay, let's go to groups then. Okay, listos? Todos tienen la guía? Sí. Una pregunta. Vamos a trabajar en las dos, en las diez de cada uno. ¿Cómo en las diez de cada uno? Son, son, son dos, sí. dos ejercicios. Uh -huh. En los dos ejercicios vamos a trabajar. Sí, correcto. Yes, in groups. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, let's go to groups. Uh, no somos muchos, somos solo 14. So let's do groups of uh, three, maybe. Let me see. No salen grupo, grupo de cuatro. All right, groups of four. Let's do it. Yo, Gabriel, ¿quién es Gabriel? Dije yo. Vaya, este, yes. el primer ejercicio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, dice, hay, sí, todos tienen la guía, ¿verdad? Sí, yo sí. ¿Usted, David, también la tiene? No, yo no. Pero, eh, yeah. Solo voy a estar escuchando y, y tal vez respondiendo con lo que... Ok. Entonces, la primera sería I was in... Was. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Canberra. Canberra. Last spring. Last spring. Last spring. The second, we were, were at the school that Saturday. Entonces, number three, Tina was mm -hmm. at home yesterday. Sí. Yes. Tina was at home yesterday. Mm -hmm. Number four, it was. He was yeah. happy. He was happy. Okay. Preguntas, questions? Everything's good? Everything is good. You got it? Yes, I got it. All we right. got it. Good, good. <laughs> Entonces, number five what, uh -huh, was porque es es ella uh -huh. es ella She en la tres estamos sí sí va uh, Tina was at home yesterday sí. la cuatro mejor sería was también was también. Was. Was. 
Robert and Stan. Where? 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 Number eight. It was. I was. In the museum. Yes. Was. Very good. Entonces, la, la A era. Era what? I was. I was. She was. Yes, she was. Igual, porque está hablando de ella. En la nueve dijimos. Was. She was. was. She was. was. Well, perdón. She la la A. She was, ¿verdad? En la A es I was. A is where. Yo diría where. Tem. En la tem. Está hablando de alguien. Eh, de Chick. Jessica, de Jessica y ah. Kimberly. Entonces sería was. Ah, What? no, está hablando yeah. de dos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. They They were. Entonces, were. Sí, es cierto, está hablando de dos personas. De dos personas, ajá. Uh -huh. They. They. Correcto. Muy bien. Y el siguiente ejercicio, yo no entendí muy bien qué era lo que había hecho. Es lo mismo, the same, same thing. Okay. Um, so, solo que aquí van a usar wasn't and weren't. Yeah. Ah, ok. Pero en las que tengan Next. el signo de menos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O en todas. Sincere, my best friend. Aquí entonces la primera. La primera yo creo que es was porque está hablando de él. Sí. Sí. Was. La segunda. Es. Sí. Was. Where was in the primera y where in the segunda. In the primera was. In the primera de la segunda, porque in the segunda hay todo para poner dos, dos respuestas. Bueno, dos cositas de esas. Entonces, my en... weather, my weather could win with in the Berlin. Sería was y where. En la, en la two sería was and were. Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Gracias. En three. ¿Por qué te enojaste ayer? Yes. Where. Where. Uh, sí, where. Why where. were you so angry? Angry, hungry, angry, yesterday. Sí, sí, where? Porque es where? Porque es, es you. Mm -hmm. You is where? Where you was. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. Where? Yes, where? Gracias. Um, four. At this I did time uh, last year, yeah. Sandra. Here, here was. Was. Sí. ¿Está de acuerdo los demás? 
¿Qué dice? Solo Brian dice que es was. Está hablando de she, de ella. Sí, entonces es de una persona. Was. Fine. Ahí sí está hablando de, de, de varios, de, en plural. We. We entonces sería we were. were. Yes, were. were. Uh, because it was like late at the night. Lo que es were and was. Sorry, because it's last at night. Mm. Di, explicó el profe que era para no, para cosas, ¿verdad? No sí. Además está hablando de la noche. Lo ah, ya. Yeah. No Entonces yeah. sería yeah. We were tired because is is y, perdón, y, 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 ya nos quedamos. Este sería, este, vamos a ver, ya me quedé ahí, ¿no? Sería, where, where, we were tired where? because it was late at night. Was. Pero si estamos así, como estamos hablando de la noche, solo de una cosa, yeah, es was. Sí, 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 sí. Hablando de la noche, ¿verdad? Sí. Es cierto. Creo, creo. No, yo creo que también, porque sí se está hablando. En, eh, en la noche. Because yeah. it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, así es. Sí. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next sip in wash. Water. Porque es negativa. Ah, okay. yes. Wasn't. Ah, es cierto. Was. Wasn't. Oh, yeah. Wasn't. Sí, es cierto. Wasn't. Sleep. On the team on the club yesterday. Él se duerme a las 10 de la Questions? Sí, yo sí tengo una duda. En la número 10 dice the chops. Entonces sería where, entonces, porque es plural. Mm -hmm. Correct. Shops is plural. Mm -hmm. Weren't. The number 11. Uh -huh. My friends were. I think it's were. Yes, were. Yes, were, brother. Con ellos. Day. Okay. Now, the number 12. Where in? Where not? No, it wasn't. Yes, we're not. I were. Not. I saw this week. Gary and I. This weren't or what? I. Were not. Sobre de nosotros. Ours. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the number 13. Oh, it's very difficult. Number 13. <laughs> Liam. I think this was. Thank you. What? 
Okay. The number for two. Where? Okay. The number 15. Uh, autumn. What? Yes. Yeah. The number 16. When John was a child, he was afraid of dogs. Okay. 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 Um, the last on the number 17. What's in? What's in? Mm -hmm. What is that? 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 What is Good morning. To be afraid. Yo creo que guasen. Okay. No, pero está hablando de una, de una película nada más. Entonces, yo creo que was not. Si es que es como que esté diciendo, no hay una buena. Okay, right. very good. Questions? Alguna duda para que la podamos repasar? Questions? Did you have any questions for the exercise? No? Everything's good? Quizás en la última pregunta había un poco de duda, bro. Okay. In uh, which one? What number? Two. Number two. This is it. Second. Second. So the number, two. number two in the second exercise. Exercise two. El que dice, the weather blank cold when we blank in Berlin. Esa? No, es en la segunda guía, la última mm -hmm. pregunta. Ah, okay, the last question. There blank a good movie on TV at prime time. What is the subject? What is the subject here? I think it's it. Right, it's movie, right? The good, so the good movie. Mm -hmm, correct. So it can be it, right? Yes. So when we have it, what do we use? Was or were? Was. Was. Very good. Yeah. There was a good movie. Now, what, what happens if I put an S? Movies. Movies. Plural. Yeah. Were. Uh-huh. Correct. So the subject, right? The subject is the one that determines was or were. Okay. Very good. Questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Sobre esos dos ejercicios? Questions? Okay, very good. Uh, next, I have a, we're going to do a speaking exercise. Okay. So we're going to do this exercise that's here. Okay. Now, vamos a trabajar así, grupo de cuatro. All right. Um, find someone who was, and then finish the sentence, right? Find someone, es decir, encuentran a alguien, right? Dentro del grupo, tienen que encontrar a alguien who was asleep at six o'clock this morning. Find someone who was asleep at six o'clock this morning, right? Entra el grupo. Eh, van a trabajar en grupos de cuatro igualmente, right? So, 
let's say for example, I'm, my group is David, Brian, Flor, and, and um, Alejandra, right? That's my group, right? Um, entonces voy a hacer la pregunta así, right? Who was asleep at six o'clock this morning? Alguien, algunos de ellos, pueda que estaba durmiendo a esa hora, right? Digamos que Alejandra estaba durmiendo a esa hora. Ella va a responder, I was asleep at six o'clock this morning. Ah, okay, so Alejandra was. So I'm going to write her name here. Okay? Ya encontré a alguien que tiene ese criterio. Perfecto. Estaba despierta a esa hora. Yes. Right? ¿Y el more information? Don't worry. No, you know. Don't worry. Right? Okay. So, si no hay nadie en el grupo, entonces, you say, nobody. Nobody. Nadie. Nobody. Okay? All right. But then, try to put a name. Now, una persona puede hacer la pregunta y los otros pueden responder. Right? Pueden responder, I wasn't, I was, and positive or negative, right? Okay, very good. Questions? All right, let's let's go before before I uh, I go to groups. Let's look at the the next ones. Find someone who was with a friend last night. Right? Alguien que estaba con un amigo. Find someone that was at home on Sunday afternoon. Find some someone who was on holiday last August. Find someone who was lucky last week. Okay. Ah, ya me acordé por qué está esta sección, more information. For example here, find someone that was lucky last week. ¿Qué quiere decir lucky? Que tuvo buena suerte, right? Find someone who was lucky last week. And say, for example, uh, Jose, dice, ah, me, I was lucky last week. Entonces, tal vez él no quiere dar más información. Él. Why? Why? What happened to you? Y ahí él no, no puede explicar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le pasó? All right. Questions? Questions? Vamos. Vamos. Repitamos la, pre la pregunta, la primera. Number one. Sorry. Find someone who was asleep. Simple. Ahí está la pregunta. Solamente terminen de leer aquí, ¿verdad? Es decir, aquí está, who was, y siguen aquí, who was asleep okay. at six o'clock this morning. All right? At six o'clock this morning, who was asleep? Mm -hmm. A esa hora, ¿quién estaba durmiendo? Who was asleep at six o'clock this morning? Right? All right, very good. Let's go to groups, okay? My recommendation, speak English, right? Try to speak English for this practice, right? Estamos usando was and were. All right, let's go to groups. Same groups, okay? Same groups. Hector, please go to your group, please. Ay. Vaya, no hay problema. Ok. Hi, Hi Aurora. Hi. Hi, David. Hi. ¿Qué hace? Ok, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the activity. You have 10 minutes only. Let's do it. Who was asleep at six o'clock this morning? Uh, 
Who was asleep at you? six o'clock this morning? Uh, yes, I was. Very good. You can say, you can answer in complete sentence, right? You can say, I was asleep at I six o'clock mm -hmm. I was uh, sleep. Then. I was that... asleep at six o'clock this morning. Uh -huh. sí. sí, verdad? Simplemente agregan la información aplicando la T, right? I, I was asleep at six o'clock this morning. Okay, very good. Alguien más? Somebody else was asleep at six o'clock this morning? No, I wasn't. Okay, good. No, I wasn't. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, who's going to do the next question? Vayan así, uno, uno cada uno. Ask the question. Tienen la guía, ¿verdad? Pregunte usted, Aurora. ¿Cómo? Si quiere, pregunte usted, Aurora, porque ya pregunté. Bueno. Who was with friends last Friday night? Okay. I was with friends last Friday night. Okay, Alejandra was with her friends last Friday night. What about you, David? Uh, no, I wasn't. Okay. What about you, Aurora? Were you I was with not. friends? I was not. Okay. Flor, are you there? No, I wasn't. Very good. Okay, so only one person, right? Alejandra. So you can put her name there. Okay, next question. Continue. Okay. <laughs> next. Uh, fine. Someone was who was uh, at home on Sunday afternoon. Sunday. Yes. Sunday. Yes, I was. Oh, okay. I... Yes, I was at home on Sunday afternoon. Family. Okay. Okay. With my family. Okay. Very good. Everyone, entonces. Ajá. Todos. Sí. Okay. Next question. Find Summer who was on, on, on holiday. holiday last August. Last August. Uy. <laughs> mm, I was. Find someone who was on holiday last August. I, I was on I was on holiday last. O sería una como una pregunta sí o no. Yes, I was. No, sería una una afirmación positiva, right? Puedes decir. Yes. I was. I was on holiday last August. Yes, very good. Okay. No was. No was. No, no was. No, I wasn't. No, sería, I wasn't on mm -hmm. holiday last. August. Yes, very good. I wasn't, right? Next, find Next. someone who was lucky last week. Find someone who was lucky last week. Which I wasn't. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Okay, finish, finish. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't lucky last week. Okay, very good. <laughs> Find someone who was lucky last week. Anybody? No? No. Okay, then you put nobody, right? Nobody. nobody. 
Good, good. Next. Next. No, que no tuve suerte la última semana. I wasn't lucky last name. Week, perdón. I was lucky. Entonces, no, pero que dice que tuvo suerte. Lucky last week. Pero la respuesta de no, Brian la re fue negativa. Ah, es guapa. Ajá. Ah, ok. I wasn't. I wasn't. No varía entonces. No varía quizás. Yes. Uh, Stephanie. No. Sí. Okay. Next question. Who was in the shower at 7 o'clock this morning? Who was 7 o'clock? 7. Who was in the shower? Yeah. This morning. Toma la ducha a las 7 de la mañana. En punto. No. In the shower. Oh. I am the shower of uh, 5 a.m. Okay, Daniel. I am no. <laughs> I am I, I no. Was. I was. was. Past. I, I, wa I was has um, shower um 5 a.m. Okay, okay. Okay. Brian, who was? Brian, who was? I shower? wasn't. I wasn't shower in the shower at seven o'clock this morning. Because I was in the shower at ten o'clock this morning. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. At the end. At the end. Sí, a las 10. Me too. Looking. Do I was look? study at 7 o'clock this morning. Okay. The next question, 7. Who was in bed at 11 o'clock last night? Last night. Mm -hmm. Um, question B. Significado. Eh, no estaba en la cama. En la cama. A las, ah. once, de la no, a las once en punto ayer. En la noche. In bed at once o'clock. I was. I was. I was. I bed at once. ¿Cómo se dice? Eleven. 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 ¿Quién, ¿Quién se lo olvidó con el reloj? Eleven. Eleven. Yes, eleven. What happened, Daniel? Hey, yo sé que puede contar hasta el once. Come on, Daniel. Come on. Basic. I, I, I was, I was in the at eleven o'clock last night. Very good. Okay. Okay. Carlos, puede ser la próxima pregunta. Jeje. Okay. Who was at the gym on Saturday morning? <laughs> Who was at the gym Uy. on Saturday? Saturday <laughs> mañana. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. No. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> claro que sí. <laughs> And you, Aurora? No, Tyrant. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, Flor? Flor? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Tired uh, on Monday morning. I wasn't see. <laughs> okay, finished? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, 
Okay, you have one minute. Answer this question, everybody. Where were you born? Mm, I was born. Ah, where? I was born in El Salvador. Uh -huh, where? What? What department? A Wachaban, Wachaban City. Okay, all right, very good. Next. I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Next. I was born in San Salvador. Good, nice, nice. Who else? One more? One more person? I, I, I was Santa Tecla. I was what? I was. I was, I was what? Uh, I, Santa I Tecla was, City. <laughs> you forgot the verb. I, where were you born? Okay, very good. Almost finished. One minute. Uh, I want to give you an opportunity to, to answer this question. Where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in Santa Tecla City. Ah, very good. Uh, I was born in Lopango City. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Who else? Brian, where were you born? I was born in Metapan. Ah, nice. Uh, David, Daniel. I, I was born in Awachaban City. Nice, nice. Uh, Daniel, where were you born? Come on. Una pregunta bien básica, ¿verdad? Es, es, es conversación uno. Daniel, where were you born? I was in born San Marcos. No, está fuera de orden eso y estás usando is en vez de was. I was. Ajá, finish. I was born in San Marcos. In San Marcos. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Very good. A, a homework is finishing section five and the test. All right. So, pueden avanzar al examen. Please go finish. You have to finish this week before Thursday. Finish the test. Final exam. Okay. No solamente terminar la sección 5, sino el examen de la sección 5, ¿ok? Very good. Uh, eh, ¿Se les están olvidando algunas cosas básicas? Algunos están confundiendo el verb to be is, are. ¿Se les están olvidando he or she? Cosas bien básicas. ¿Se les están olvidando do, did? All right, so no se los olviden. Esas son cosas básicas, all right? Algunos se les están olvidando los números, <laughs> all right? So, please, practice more, dedíquense un poco más, right? Listen to more English, no solamente, ah, ya entré en la plataforma cinco minutos, ya terminé. No, eso no es inglés, eso no es aprendiendo inglés, right? You have to use it, practice, read English, listen to English, watch, watch videos in English, okay? So continue to grow and practice. All right, very good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Very good.